Jakeus, where are you, Jakeus? Where are you, my friend? John L. Davis, 18 points, six rebounds, three assists, 48% from the floor, 41% from three, 85% from free throw. Player of the year in the American League, American Conference, whatever you call it, I don't care, is call, in the portal. Call, call player of the year. In the portal. He's in the portal. He also uh, is entering the NBA draft, but more importantly, he's in the portal, Jacus. Jacus, you said this wouldn't happen, Jacus. They applauded you, Jacus. They stood for you. You made grown men and women stand and give you credit that these men weren't in the portal. They're in the portal, Jacus. Let me break some. They are in the portal, Jacus. They're all in the portal, and they might be mine, Jacus. They might. They might not be mine, but they might be mine. Most importantly, they're not yours, Jacus. They are not yours. Uh, John L. Davis is the greatest player in Florida Atlantic history. That's what I believe to be true. Uh, great, great basketball player. If there is one guy that matters from this team that is entering the portal and going elsewhere, I think it's John L. Davis. We did the Vlad Golden video yesterday. John L. is a better player than Vlad Golden. John L. could go start anywhere in the country, in my opinion, right now. And I actually think this is going to be a recruitment that heats up. How big of news is this to you? It's massive. I mean, John L. Davis was a, a, like, if you're just looking at his play and his stats and what he did for that team, he was an all American level type player. Like one of the best point guards in the country. Um, without John L. Davis, I don't think that this FAU team would have done much, honestly, just because of everything that he did to kind of start it up. And with the step back that I think some guys took on the team, like Elijah Martin and things like that. So John L. Davis is a guy that I think is, well, he's he's the best player in the portal. Like that, I, he's the best player in the portal that's entered to me. To be honest with you, um, no shots at Evan Mia, who says Vlad Golden's the best player in the portal. So you're you're telling me two of Jacus's guys are the best players in the portal? <laughs> two, two, <laughs> does, does Mia actually have Golden as the best? Yeah, Vlad Golden's the highest rated player in his portal rankings. Uh, wow. I, that's not to make any jokes about. It. I think Golden's very good too. Maybe that changes with Davis. It was uh, before Davis entered. It was Vlad. Uh, but you you mean to tell me two of t- <laughs> two of Jacobs's best players? Best of the- I'm sorry. Okay, where 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 should John L go? What if you're John L. Davis? Like, what's your next course of action here? Well, you have you have one year of eligibility left. You're John L. Davis, right? Um, Correct. You are a player who averages 18, six, and I think it's three, 18, six, and three, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, 18, six, and three. You shoot 48% from the field. You shoot 41% from three on a good amount of attempts as well. Uh, I don't see why he wouldn't want to go play for, like, um, any of the big dogs. Uh, But I don't know who the big dogs are, who you, who you want to, like, distinct the big dogs as. But we're seeing a lot of numbers being flown around at players. John O. Davis is easily could be the highest, the highest bag getter out of the portal based on his play, based on the player he is, based on the position of need as well. Like we talk about schools like Indiana that have all these these crazy type bags. He's a Gary Indiana kid. I know Gary's more of a Chicago thing than actually Indiana, but like it is in Indiana. Indiana needs a point guard. I would be very surprised if they don't try to make some type of dollar value offer that he cannot refuse, but he also might just be a dusty may guy. So I, I think I would put it at a percentage chance. He's probably like 75% Michigan and the 25% that he's not Michigan. I just think is that he could, he could get an extreme bag. Or he also might just choose to go pro in a very bad draft class. Don't like, don't you think like John O. Davis could find his way to like the end of the first round? No, I don't. Um, no chance. This was discuss. You you got kicked out of Scrapple last night. This was discussed in Scrapple. Uh, I believe it was Goodman. I think who said uh, he could be a first round draft pick because the draft is so bad. Sweeney immediately screenshot that. Sent it to Jeremy Wu, who uh, sent a screenshot back and said, "Is Goodman on ketamine?" That was the reaction. So okay. I, uh, yeah. So am I on ketamine? Could happen. I mean, I, look, the draft is bad enough. It could happen. I don't, I, with both Golden and John L, I don't think there's a world that they get drafted this year. So the be- the reality is the best thing would be go. Oh, golden, golden, hell no. But I think there's actually, oh, well, 
until I was just told that I'm on academy. <laughs> uh, John L's a six, four shooting guard. Like he's not a point guard. So that's the NBA is not lusting after guys like that with all due respect. He's a great college player, but he's, he's not a point guard and he's six foot four. His recruiting offers out of high school were uh, Florida Atlantic, Kent state and Northern Illinois. So I, you don't think he's a point. I don't, I don't. Uh, I, he he played some of it by default in Dusty's system, but Dusty's system is also just like four different guards at the same time, kind of sharing the ball. Um, I don't I don't think John L would go anywhere and be like a ball dominant point guard, average six assists a game. I think he's a score first guy. Wired as a great scorer. Look, I I'm very in on John L. He's the the big prize, right? If there's one player in the portal I could get at Michigan, it would be John L. Um, I I what I'm hearing, I'm like stuttering. What I'm hearing is uh he's dusty's main priority here he's dusty's main priority now he has to win him because there there are other guys that you just assume are going to go with dusty for whatever reason like a nick boyd you hope flag golden barring the danny wolf thing coming true he's gonna have to win him like dusty's gonna have to go win john l davis again there are rumblings like the main recruiter the lead recruiter on john l davis when he first committed to fau is a Georgia assistant coach right now. There's some pretty loud rumblings that that man may be on Dusty's staff at Michigan. So, like, there are some things, I think, in place that Dusty's trying to do that make Michigan a more appealing place to John L. Um, if it's not Michigan, what are you saying? Sorry, I, don't know. I, I thought I thought that the GA, uh, sorry, the GA, the Georgia assistant wasn't for John L. I thought it was he's trying to get the Indiana guy on his staff to be to do to get John L across the line. I think it's partially or is that both. or is that for another player? In, in the Indiana guys, Mr. Liam McNeely. Ah, okay. Yeah. Yep, lead, yep. lead recruiter on McNeely is the Indiana guy. Lead recruiter yes. on John L is the guy at Georgia. So but again, John L is an Indiana kid. So like there's I and look, Mike Boynton has nothing to do with John L. But like what we're hearing of how Dusty's trying to build his staff and there's like background checks happening all our points in favor of John L might want to go there. So I think he's the main priority. Got to see, got to land it. I won't be surprised at all. Cause I, I don't think Michigan's going to offer him as much money as he'll get elsewhere. So like, man, I, depending on who, who needs a point guard, like to, if RJ Davis leaves, do they call, does Hubert call him? Shit. He could play the RJ Davis role to perfection. Uh, Indiana absolutely needs a guard. We've said it right. They've, they've got everything else they need. They just need a point guard. Can Mike Woodson pay Bryson Tucker money for John L. Davis? Yeah, you can. Like that's – and for an Indiana kid, you might want that. That might be a great situation. Putting my Michigan hat off, like I'm sure he likes Dusty and would probably relish playing for him again. Indiana's a perfect fit, a perfect fit for John L. So I won't be surprised if this becomes Michigan versus Indiana. Uh, what other level like schools? Like what – do Blue Bloods make sense for this guy? Kansas just got Zeke Mayo. And it's bringing Dewan Harris back. So I, otherwise I think they would want John L. Right. I'm just trying to think of like what other, because obviously Kansas is the one that came to my mind first, but you know, it just doesn't seem like that'd be a fit. Could Arizona be? Arizona be something? Arizona, uh, you know, I, Arizona, maybe even like if I'm Kelvin Sampson, like I, I will actually the thing is, I don't know if it'll work. Cause I don't also, I didn't, is, is Nellie Davis considered like a bad defender? Is he a bad defender? I think he's fine. I don't think he's fine. a okay. ability, like, but he's, he's not a would lockdown. He, would he work at Houston? No. I mean, would he would he work? Yeah, I'd be a good player, but like okay. no, he's about? not he's not wired like a Houston guy. Right. Or <laughs> shot uh, even even more of a double slap to your boy Jaskis in the face. He goes to Baylor and he just plays in just like that guard system with a bunch of guards. It's similar to what Dusty did playing all the guards, he just plays the guard there. Is not really a necessarily point guard. Yeah, there's stuff open with Ray J. Dennis. Oh, you know, there's yeah, there's there's other options for him, um, for sure. I, I definitely think Michigan has the leg up in this case, given they have Dusty, and I, I, you know, I'd be surprised if he didn't go to Michigan. Baylor's a good fit. Texas, hey, come be Max Acemas. I could see that. Uh, I will say the the school that scares me most as a Michigan fan that thinks I can get John L. Davis, the school that scares me most outside of Indiana. If Dan Hurley picks up that phone and says, Tristan Newton, just laugh. We need you. Ooh. Ooh. Didn't even think about that. 
That one would scare me the most. I love and I, I love that fit. He'd be incredible there. He'd be and incredible. They, I mean, show up, show him Kemba, Shabazz, Tate, and yeah, we our guards are gone. Cam Spencer and Tristan Newton are gone. Come here. Like okay. Yeah. Um but this this will truly this will show us what Dusty May is made of because this is his first big recruitment. He has the inside track. And if if Dusty May can pull this kid to Michigan and be the centerpiece in the backcourt in year one over programs of that prestige, all the ones we just named that are certainly going to call John out, that's when we know Dusty May's a dude, I think. So we'll see. Uh, I'm excited to see how it plays out. My bookie is our favorite place to place bets, and you can place bets with us. Card, tell the people about my bookie. Let me tell you about my bookie quickly here. It has absolutely everything you need. It has odds boosts, parlays, expert predictions, alternate lines, anything that you need. My bookie makes it easy to play your way and get paid. And right now we have a first deposit bonus up to a thousand dollars if you use promo code sleepers. That's promo code sleepers for I almost messed that up, Greg, but it is promo code sleepers for a first deposit bonus of up to a thousand dollars. The madness is winding down, but there's still plenty of time to get some bets out there. Do so with my bookie, the official sports book of Sleepers Media. Yeah, that's promo code Sleepers, or as Card says, promo code Sleepers. It's <laughs> promo code Sleepers. Uh, thank you, my bookie. Link in the description of this video. Uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video.